There is a small village on the border of where I am burned. And this is Pomum playing just after the previous chapter because I wanted to keep playing. Uh, here was where Roy was to meet the mercenary band that Elibuth had hired for him. Yes, this of the village is a small castle occupied by bird forces. When Roy had reached the village, the castle was in a chaotic state. Roy had yet to learn that the confusion going on in the castle Going on in the castle was going to cause turbulence all over a leap. It was a hard one to read through. The Princess of Bern, Chapter 2. What I'm asking is where the princess is. Y yes, Captain Milady. I'm certain she was in her room this morning. I've already heard that. They want to know is where the princess is at this moment. She's... Uh, we're almost going into head on war with Lysia. What if something happens to the princess? Can you take responsibility? I never should have let her highness go down the border in her first place. In the first place, I will return to Bern and inform the king about this matter. I try not to make it into panic. So you must find the princess as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Is Princess Guinevere still with us? Yes, sir. She is under constant monitoring in the basement room. Good. Don't let her escape. Sir, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. Brown has plenty of enemies. The younger sister of King Sheffield will be sure to get half the amount of money by turning her in to one of their foes. We're not going to make it anywhere by serving our country anyway, so we're better off thinking of ways to make money first, no? Yes, of course. But there is one little problem with that plan. What do you mean? I just received a report. It seems that Princess Guinevere's servant has escaped. What? You fool, why didn't you say so earlier? Go search for her immediately, don't let her get away. Ho 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 ho! Now that's an army. Those are no, no puny bandits. Master Roy, it's around here somewhere. This is where we're supposed to meet the mercenary band? Yes, though, it seems they aren't here yet. Oh, wait, they can see somebody running this way. Hey, our healer, our first, first healer of many, because this game really likes to front load you with a lot of units. I really like this one, though, Ellen. Watch out. Oh, oh excuse me, I was in a hurry. No, it's, it's all right, I'm fine, but are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. It's... Good that you are not hurt. You are you are from Lycia, are you not? Yes. I am the son of the Marquis of Ferrari. Oh, dear God, I thank you for your guidance. Huh? Please, could you help me rescue my prince, my mistress? What happened? My mistress and I were traveling to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. However, while we were passing through here, we fell into a trap set by Ruth. The lord of the castle yes, is of here. We were captured. Master Roy, we must not get into unnecessary stranglings with Burn now. I I have a bit of an internal joke. The first time I played this game, it was uh, like at the same time as, as a friend of mine, and we got a joke about Merlinus being absolutely and completely evil like every phrase Merlinus says during this game is honestly evil but we can't neglect a person who has come to meet someone from the lions but it's not smart to charge into enemy fields either <sighs> there they are hey guys over here get this servant girl it doesn't matter whether she's dead or alive. Oh no! 
or Merlinus. They attack first. You have to fight, don't we? You won't pay heed of me, now will you? I wish I can be witness to how much you have learned in Ostia. Alright, we're going to turn to the castle. Miss Helen, you can hide somewhere, someplace safe. No, I will accompany you. I cannot fight, but I can heal wounded allies. Oh, but... I'm the one that got you entangled up in this mess. Please let me be of some help. Okay, but please don't strain yourself. Yes, thank you for your consideration. Okay, two new units already. Since the beginning of the map. Merlinus. <laughs> a very interesting unit. Merlinus is a transporter. A transporter you might know from FE7, even though FE7 is posterior, so FE7 copied this game and not the other way around. A transporter functions as a convoy in this game. You don't get your convoy into your north as you do in, I don't know, Awakening or Fates or really most modern games give you your, your convoy in your lord. But this game instead gives you a, something that makes a lot of sense, a physical unit that acts as a combo. Merlinus is immortal. He can't die. And he has growth, but in this game he doesn't level by surviving a map like he does in every 7 In this game he had he would have to dodge a hundred enemy attacks or like take a hundred enemy attacks but that's not really easy to level up. His growths also aren't that good. He does have his uses and in some chapters in this game you get so many deployment slots that it's worth deploying Merlinus to take care of the shopping. But most of the time because Merlinus in this game does consume a deployment slot, he's not a good option. He's not a good option. And we get Ellen. Uh, well, Ellen is your first healer. She has D rank in healing, which is a decent star, a heal state, some decent stats, but there's a glaring weakness in her stats. And I'm not talking about the zero defense because, you know, healers are made of paper anyway, so she wasn't going to be able to take them on with one or two defense. I'm talking about the one magic. Ellen has a good magic growth, I think it's actually 50%. And in this game, 50% is like really high for growth, really high. Most growths are on the 30-40s. So 50% is a lot. But the one base doesn't make her that good, especially considering like five chapters later I think maybe when only four chapters later yeah 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 on chapter six we're going to get another uh, priest this one is called sister for some reason interesting translation patch I chose uh, basically a male sister that is going to have a six base magic I think on level 5 or so and also C rank in a stage. So Ellen is normally compared to that unit and immediately dismissed especially because there's another additional healer that also has low magic but has a horse. Ellen's magic is really a, a big fault of her as a unit so I, I, I'm not here to complain like it makes a lot of sense. Uh, but I think she should be appreciated for what she can do and what she can do is uh, help you during this start of the game, which is pretty rough. Also, that's a hand axe. Okay, a hand axe, a hand axe. I don't like hand axes in this game. They are actually kind of scary. And your ranges overlap. What is this? Conquest? Okay, now come bolt, cover, yeah. Uh, we also meet for the first time one of the most worthless units in the game, the soldier. The soldier has low speed 
and a low constitution that allows him to be doubled by anyone and their mother. Um, okay, the only can, guy that can reach is a Handax, so yeah, I'm going to strike with Bolt. This is actually one of Bolt's greatest contributions on the early game, not even joking. Do I have a... I don't have your lands now. Have the iron lands here, when I... yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. I could also go completely ham. Merlinus is pretty good for visiting this village. And you can also do shopping, which I might even let Merlinus take care of, honestly. Uh, we don't get preparations until... I think the same chapter that the character I reference to joins. Chapter 6. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I am. I think this is a good idea. First, I throw the javelin. It doesn't work. But now, I can go here. Trade the iron lands and lands with the lands. That's a good job. And then. Honestly, it's here for a reason, so let's use the silver lens. Like, no point in keeping it a lot of time if it's going to prove a risk in the end. Because soldiers do have one thing, and that is they hit kind of hard. Okay, I think Roy is pretty safe here. Yeah. And you can move here. And Ellen can move like here. And that's our starting move. Nine damage, yeah, as I said, kind of hard, kind of hard. Not as hard as a fighter, but. Okay, okay. Okay, they left. Crap. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's... I will repeat that one and come back. Alright, so Allen is actually able to double and kill this time. They actually appear with a bit more speed, which doesn't allow uh, Ward to double them. But they also have less uh, defense, so that's kind of really good for us. Um, I'm actually going to give you the javelin because the Handax might want to attack you. Then we go here and here and here. Do you have four movement? Or oh, five movement, then one. Why do I feel like you should move more? Okay. Okay, that's dangerous, but I think Alan should be able to survive the Handax. Was that the... F no. There's still one remaining. Yeah. Ah! Okay. I think we were meant <laughs> to survive that one, but it turned out to be okay. Oh, Iron Man in this game is... It, it has to be hell. <laughs> I haven't tried it ever, and I don't plan to do it on, on a long time. Until I get used to it a lot more, 
I, I, uh, it should be around here somewhere. Thanny. Oh, Thanny. We get Thanny as a translation for the game? That's cute. This character has been localized as Shanna, but she used to be known as Thanny a long time ago. And actually, the character that leaked a lot of details on Three Houses was called the uh, Thanny Bomb. And could you go and check to see if the Fry Army is around here? Sure. Deke, who's our client this time? For our family, one of the no one of the nobles of Lysia. Marcus's son is going to join the Lysia Alliance. So we're going up against one. That's what it looks like. Our opponent, time to show some skill, eh? But this one's going to be tough. But they're very careful. I think I found them, but it looks like they are fighting somebody down there. But the battles are already started. We better hurry. Okay. As I said, this game really likes to front load you with units. Worth, also known as Wave. A young man fighting alongside Dick. He's a fighter. And... If I had to sum him up on like very, very simple terms, he does a lot of damage, quite reliably, but only once. He doesn't have defenses, he doesn't have speed, he only has good hit for an axe user, which is still very low hit in this game, because axes in this game are like horrible hit. 65, 45 hit on a hammer and a lot of strength, like a lot of strength, probably one of the highest strengths in the game. He does his job pretty well and he completely demolishes soldiers, but considering the amount of units this game has, uh, I, I say War is one of the worst units in the game. Lot, however, is a more moderate option. He has a decent base of strength, actually kind of really good at 7 strength on level 3 and his growth for strength is nothing crazy but he does have good growths in speed and defense so he ends up being a more moderate unit that also with the bonuses of warrior kind of can hold on to the end of the game he's not crazy but if you invest a lot of him on him he, he ends up being like pretty decent. I've used him once before. I've played this game twice before. Uh, once on normal mode, the other one on hard mode. I went through Route A and Sakei, and then Route B and Ilia. So I've seen all of the optional chapters. Um, yeah, Lot is like... Actually, Lot's skill is better at the start, so maybe World doesn't even have the the higher, you know. He's not even the superior choice in terms of hitting the enemies. He just has damage. Then we have Dick. There's a lot of pronunciations. I've heard people call him Dyke or Dyke or Dick. He's Dick, okay? I'm, I don't care. Uh, uh, I say he is part, just as they are part of the board and court archetype, the uh, brother fighters that join uh, on chapter 2, more or less, this is the Ogma archetype, the oldish mercenary that is not a Jagen, but it is also kind of a unit that shines a lot more at the start of the game and then starts falling off slightly. Now, Dick, I think, is a really good unit. A really good unit, uh, starting speed and skill and strength, honestly, are always going to be relevant, so it doesn't really matter his growths aren't crazy, because just with promotions, which in this game are pretty good, he can stay as a good unit, and he has C swords from the beginning. The problem from for Dick and Say, which is a problem also more than Lot have, but for Dick it's even worse is competition for the promotion item. Uh, he has to promote with a hero crest, and this game has a lot 
of classes that promote with a career crest. Uh, mercenaries, myrmidons, fighters, uh, pirates, although there's only one pirate and one bandit, they all promote with a hero crest. And you kind of get only one at the start of the game and the second one under very trying circumstances. So Dick is good, whether he becomes a long-term unit or just a short-term unit depends on how much you are willing to invest on him. If you promote him, he is normally staying to the end and, and being really good. If you don't promote him, then well, he did his job. And we have Fenny. Fenny uh, or Shanna, however you want to call her, a Pegasus Knight in training, traveling the world to hone her skills. She is the, you know, your starting Pegasus Knight as they do, uh, with a slim lance and a javelin, very bad constitution compensated by a very, very, very high speed, and it's only going to get higher. She is fast, she has a lot of mobility, she has aid and canto, a lot of good things that even if her combat isn't crazy due to her strength being on the low side, I mean, for a starting strength, it's, it's the same as Walt, isn't it? Well, that shouldn't be a, a feat. Yeah, it's the same as Walt, but Walt doesn't do a, a lot, to be honest. And she doesn't have the best growth, that, that's true. She has a bit of a strength problem, but if you allow her to get good ranks on lances, lances can be a very powerful uh, type of weapon to use. So she can be very, very fun to use. And I intend to use her a little bit, because, well, I'm leaning more to the Ilya side. In case you don't know, I should probably start fighting already. In case you don't know, this game provides you with a, oh -ho, with a choice. You can go on the Ilya or on the Sakai path depending on if you train your Pegasi or your Nomads more. Wow. Amazing. Great work. Okay, the hand axe is... It shouldn't hit. Yeah, 15 hit. Oh, and a level up for Alan. Oh, that's a good level up. That's a good level up. I should weaken you too. Do I double with Roy? No. I wanted to do some... Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Save. Oh. Well... That's not going anywhere, that's going to Marcus right there. Yeah, so we're only going to get closer. Um, okay, I could fight you. You have 7 speed. That's already enough to double me, isn't it? 13 constitution... Well, 13 constitution... No, you actually don't double me, so... You know what? This is something I never do. Probably for a reason, but I'm going to do it this time. And Dick can start taking care of you. I know he has weapon disadvantage, but he kind of doesn't care. Mm, he did care there. I think Walt can help with the kill though. Oh, oh. All doubles? If we get one, that's enough for Shanna to get the kill. There's no archers inside, right? There's this archer, but yeah. So we can give a little kill to Shanna. Perfect. Perfect. Feeling the Pegasus, always worth it. And is anyone weakened? 
Well, he is, but he can't be helped now. Uh, oh, Merlinus. Merlinus is taking this. I think it's an armor slayer. Oh, you're really safe, that's it. Those people continue our village. I don't know what would have happened to this precious sword. An armor slayer. A really helpful item, considering the boss is a bit of a... He's kind of a defense fit. Like, he's a defense benchmark that you have to be able to beat, or else you, you are kind of stuck. A dick takes care of this pretty easily. I know that does a lot of damage if it hits, but... Oh, I didn't kill. But on the fort, with weapon advantage, with high speed, have a pretty reliable chance of dodging. And you do hit me with a javelin, okay, but I counter, so it's it's good, it's all good. And there goes the hand axe. Okay. Now we have to start moving ahead. Or else this is going to be a very boring chapter. Um Are you weakened? Hmm. 16, that's 17. Yeah. We'll do this. Then take the kill. I don't know, with lance. Yes. Nice. I don't think Roy can reach, so the other one goes to Allen. Yeah, Roy definitely can't reach. Oh, I don't kill you. Then forget what I said. I'm actually giving this one to Marcus. It's not bad to give a level up to your Jagen, like... It's okay. That's not a level up. You still have a some way to go, but Roy. Oh, they never came for for wave, poor wave. Mm, may have to think that one a bit more carefully. Then, oh, Alan is the one that moved. You can go there. Merlinus come. Merlinus only has five movement, by the way, so yeah. Not the greatest. Um, risky. Risky. But a lot of the enemies have lances, so I'm going to do it. Okay. That's a good start. I am aware of the archer, so Shanna, Thaney, whatever, can't stay here. Yeah, I'm going to take care of you, just to help Lot a little bit. Lot, Balls and D, that's some names. Yeah, I will stay there. Okay, the axe went for Dick. Probably because I think he has a... Uh, maybe he has even lower defense than... No, there's no way. It's just because he can get targeted by more enemies. So if they all hit, they see they could kill. But that's that's not going to happen. Probably. Yeah, a lot of, you know, Javelin, Archer... They are all focusing on the same enemy. The... Killing AI in this game is really good. Like, they really like to focus on the same unit. And I mean really good for them. Like, they, they are actually competent at, at their job. For us, it's going to be really bad. Okay, Iron Sword. Can I maybe surround the Archer even? Uh, 
I don't know. And we even take a javelin just by staying there, so... Do I double? I'm taking this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nice job, Worth. As I said, when, when Worth doubles, which is happening never, like, don't, don't get used to it. When Worth doubles, the enemy is dead, but that was a really bad decision on me. Because Worth might die. Oh well. Oh well. Let's take you. And let's not drop you, because I didn't do it well. Didn't calculate well my distance. And Merlinus, get closer. See you. Didn't buy anything. I don't think I need to. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So you're still there. Okay. If I do this, I get a pretty safe hit on the archer. I level up for dig. Mmm, not great, not great. Yeah, but that's going to be bad, however I do it. However I do it, that's going to be bad. Okay, how about I give this kill to Zene? And then we block the way with... Probably lands, maybe even lands and Allen. Yeah, Allen can reach. Can you kill? Okay, I think I have a plan. It did rely on killing here. But I could even have gone without killing. Now I rescue Fana because her Pegasus doesn't count. She's still very light. I okay. No, you you are in danger. But I can I can't rescue you. I can rescue with Alan. Okay, okay, that was a good idea, actually. Put you here. Item, I take release to this side. The game already has become a, a puzzle in its own right. I trade you the iron sword, that's okay. I take, I release. I can even afford to release a land down and go. No, I'm staying here. And all of the champs that I'm not giving experience to, apparently, can move along. Oh, that hurts, but that's not going to double me. Dangerous, I didn't notice he was in range. Mercenaries, very dangerous. As you can probably note by Dick being one. Okay, I probably have uh, some reliable damage. I have a hit here. That's pretty good. If we begin with a 58. Fair. Fair and balanced. Ah, 
have another javelin here that I almost never use for some reason. Okay, maybe I can do this easily actually. How can I do this? 72! Ah, I knew it. At least we didn't get crit back. Still, that's... Uh, that's... 6 defense. 17 attack. You don't kill me if I equip a sword. Okay. Can I hit this 92? Yes. Okay, there shouldn't be trouble. There shouldn't be trouble. I still have a lot of options available. A uh, good thing about this game, uh, even though your units are not the best, your options just keep and keep growing. So this guy blocked me, but I can send a lot here, trade, equip the iron sword, and attack with the hand axe to below with a 50% accuracy. That's honestly a really good hit in this game for a hand axe. I can also heal you because I'm going to attempt healing the fighter with wave. Or should I give it to Roy? I'm kind of curious about Wave. Like, if there's one unit in this game I've never used, like, at all, that's probably Wave. And that's that, that's for a reason. That's for a reason. Yeah, but I knew I had a 100% on Roy, so I should have given it to Roy on the first place. I mean, Wade can get his chance to shine against the boss. Because he has a hammer. Oh, you don't move. Interesting. I'm going to trade you the armor player. Okay. Good job, good job. Lands, a weakened lands, a weakened talent. But lands is fire. I also don't know if I can heal a land to full, so. Not ideal. How about the, uh, yeah, your classical Marcus Weekends, then you come. No critical. Marcus does have a late critical that can always happen. And it's not a bad thing when it happens, it's just you don't always want it to. Nice. Mmm, horrible level up. I mean, resistance is good and all, but... Lance, come on. I kind of, I kind of prefer you, Lance, because of the speed and all, so don't, don't disappoint me. And let's give the armor player to Dick, which is more or less the... They use, they want you to, to make of the armor slayer. It's no coincidence that they give you a very good unit that can use the armor slayer from the get go on a map with a, with an armored boss. Okay, that's a bad position for me because I think the boss has a javelin. Yeah. I 
And Marcus doesn't do a lot of damage to the boss, I'm guessing. With the javelin, I mean. With the silver lance, he probably kills, but... I will give him the javelin anyway. Mm, can I take this skill? Sort of. Nice. Okay. I am definitely favoring Lance, I think. Level 3 versus level 2. I should probably give some love to... To Alan, he's been the one to show me better level ups. Uh, if I want wait war to do good against the boss, I should kill him. And Roy has to get closer, because after all, the goal of the chapter is to get him to the throne. But and Dick will also probably get closer. And lot, you know. And let's just move everyone. I didn't see how much Marcus does. Zero. Even gets a critical to do 0 times 3. Which is, of course, still 0. Yeah, this boss has like, yeah, 13 defense, so unless you go Silver Lance or something like that, you have to rely on Hammer Hitting. That's not a great accuracy. Also, you can go against the Woman Triangle, which is actually a better accuracy, because, you know, Fe6. Okay. Now, basically, anyone can take the kill. Do I go for this? Oh, 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 it's not enough. Can someone rescue you? Marcus can. Go for the hammer. Go for the hammer. And you know what? You're staying there. You're staying there. I'm actually getting out of your way. Putting Roy a bit Closer. I don't think that's worth it. I'm, I'm really, really stingy with wasting my staff uses in this game because I know. No, I want to. Can I hold pick? That sounded. Okay, root. Now, for a while, I should be able to one-shot you. Mm, what I will do is consume a vulnerable here. Consume. I don't care for turn counts that much, unless the game is becoming really boring. And I think this is... <laughs> entertaining to watch on its own right like at some point Wade is going to hit and he's going to kill that guy Ruth I I, I, I always forget his name but it's pretty funny that he's plain named Ruth come on The thing is on player face, I don't want to do anything because I don't want to fail, you know, get hit twice in a row. And I also don't want to use Ellen. Ah! Wait. Wait. 
Last opportunity. Last opportunity. Last opportunity. Well. Yes. Breath only brings you ill fate. I was level up. Oh, defense. Unexpected and not the strength. That's a weird level up for way. Defense. <laughs> I think he has like a 20% defense. Well, I guess it has like 20% happen 20% of the time, as I like to say. Do I want to shop for anything? I have a lot of javelins already. But I have two javelins only. Do I get more? I don't think I get a lot more, but I just don't feel like shopping. Conquer. Master Roy, we have rescued a lady trapped in the basement. That must be Alan's mistress. Have her come here. Yes. Your Highness. And then, oh, are you alright? I never thought you would do such a brave thing for me. Have me worried, Alan. I wanted to rescue you no matter what, so it is fine, Helen. Thanks to you, I am safe now. I am in your debt. May I ask your name? I am Roy, son of Elibut, the Marquess of Ferrari. Yes, and I am... Your Highness, are, are you sure? It is all right, Helen. My name is... Guinevere. Kinnepper. Th that's impossible. That's the name of the Princess of Bern. Yes, that is who I am. What? Do you plan on attacking us now? Linus, wait a second. I beg your pardon, Lord Roy, but... I want to speak with her. Give me some time, will you? <laughs> if Master Roy stays so... As I said before, Merlinus going in for the kill... Is a thing you're not going to see one or once or twice or thrice in this game. You're going to see it a lot. Merlinus is out for blood. You are indeed Princess Kinover from Bern. Yes, I am not sure if you will believe me, however. Even if you are not the Princess of Bern, I can tell from your actions and your dress that you are certainly someone of high social status. But if you are indeed Princess Kinever, something doesn't seem right. Ellen told me you are intended to meet someone from the Lysia Alliance. Yet, yes, that is correct. Why, if you are the Princess of Bern? I want to find a peaceful way of ending the war. I really like this track. I don't know how it's called. I think it's called something like... Princess of Darkness or something. It's, it's Guinevere's theme, basically, but it's really good, really good. Composition in this game, like this game has Loki, one of the best original soundtracks in the whole series, because you, you get tired of it a little bit because all the, map are, the maps are so long, but the tracks are all incredible. I figured if I could speak to someone from Lycia, I could find some solution. Your brother started this war. Is, is it in your power to stop it? I certainly wish to stop it. No, it must be stopped. I see. Anyway, you, you will come with us to meet the Alliance, Lycia Alliance army. I want to meet Lord Hector and see what he thinks of this matter. Honestly, you will take me? Yes, if there is a possibility to avoid bloodshed and end this war, then I believe that we must try it, no matter how small the chance. Thank you. Thank you, truly. And that was chapter 2. Part 2 of this Let's Play. Really enjoying the game, even though the game doesn't seem to enjoy me as much, because that was a quick first death. Not as quick as Awakening, I guess, but um, yeah, I have to be careful, I have to be careful. And uh, 
I, I think killing with weight is a, a weird thing, a weird thing you can do, but I had some fun doing it because I always rely on good, good old dick for the for the root kill. And it, it's good to know you have this option. You also have Marcus, honestly, like Marcus can do the job pretty well. It's just wasting the silver lands. Not as good. Wasting the hammer honestly doesn't really hurt because the hammer has such a low hit that using it during most of the game is not... How much playtime? 38 minutes I took for the first time and I probably took another like 40 for this one. Uh, maybe less because I have to reset. So yeah. Uh, about the story. Which I guess, but I realized after finishing the previous one, I didn't comment on the story. F6 story, I have to warn you, is not a character driven story like F7 is. You're not going to get this out of the ass character moment. Oh no, um, my brother, oh, um, oh, I. I'm a daughter of Sakai, so I can follow the footprints. No, 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 no. Here the characters are, yes, they are puppets to the political environment. So what you have to pay attention to is the political events that are happening around them. And, and the characters themselves, of course, are able to shape things to, to a better world. But you know, the, the situation of the countries around them still matters. Like, they can't take a magical sword and jagger not everything like they do in Fates or Awakening, where an army is able to defeat entire countries like fiu, 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 and killing everything in this way. No, this game actually has, you know, some political nuance to it, some... Okay, so we are going to the border with the conflict with Bern, and now we are not going into Bern because, of course, that would be stupid. We have a, an important political figure, uh, figure, potentially a political hostage, but Roy doesn't want to see it that way. Let's go see Hector, Hector, which is the one that actually rules in in Lycia. Yeah, I don't know, I. I like this way of doing things more than character-driven because I think character-driven stories in Fire Emblem have proven to be pretty bad. Um, three, three houses, as much as I like to shit on it, uh, I have to admit, the story is character-driven, but the good moments in the story, uh, you will notice, are there because of the world being built in a good way. The story is character driven, clearly. The Asur Moon is not the Kingdom route, it's the Dimitri route overall. But you also get a lot of look into the situation of the Kingdom to put you in, into context of the actions of Dimitri. So yeah, this is the Roy game. Don't worry, Roy is going to do things. He's not just going to go from one place to the other. But pay attention to what the characters are saying about the world, because that's the beauty about the, the story in F6. And yeah, that's going to do it for this part. This has been Pomum. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next part, which I'm going to record right now. Three in a row. Bye.